It is currently 6.30 a.m. I'm about to go prep my breakfast because I didn't prep it the night before. Prep that packet and head out. My bus was supposed to leave at 6.26. Clearly we're not on the 6.26 bus because 6.30 I'm in my house still. But, you know, you win some, you lose some. It's the beginning of the week. I have three shifts. I was supposed to have four shifts in a row. One, two, three, fourth. My fourth shift was supposed to be the same day as the bad bunny father. So I switched this one, right, for one next week. But then the person, oop, there's an extra finger. Then the person teaching me was like, I'm switching this one. So I'm only supposed to have these two. Then it would be one shift short. So I'm going to still show up on this day and hopefully someone will teach me when I, because I'm going to be there like, hey, who's going to teach you today? Because I don't have any more days to add. Like there's no more days left in my calendar. Lunch is prepped and packed. I just need to pack my breakfast. I just, I'm just hoping today is a super fun, busy day. Didn't wake up like on the right side of the bed, y'all, to be real honest. I was like, I really don't want to be awake right now. But that really happens to me every morning because I just, I'm not a morning person. Hello and happy Tuesday. I just came back from a day shift. Why am I energized? Because you know sometimes you hear a song and you're like, this is literally, not only is it the best song ever, it's a song that reaches and starts the energy from your toes. Can you see my toe? And it goes room, 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 all the way to the tip of your fingers. And you're like, how did I wait so long to listen to the song from the last time I heard the song? And it's something about not blasting your airpods because we're trying to take care of our ears but putting it to a volume that you feel that the the music is engulfing you the song is called the nega tiene tumbao by celia cruz if you are if you you speak spanish and you've heard that song play that song engulf yourself in that song and just La negra tiene tumbao. you can't tell me you love me and you appreciate me as a friend if you don't share music with me bye Never talking to you again. No, I'm kidding. No, one of my friends, we send each other music back and forth. I just sent him one, and he's like, I already heard that one. And I'm like, I know, it's so hard to have such wonderful music taste that you know of yourself. He sent me two. I haven't heard to the, the two he sent me, but then I sent him two. And the one, the first of the, so I sent him one, he already heard it. Then I sent him another one, and he said 10 seconds into that other one that he sent that it was, <laughs> that he loved it. And I said, I got good tasting music. Good, I got music too. Okay, the song that he loved is called Magic in brackets, Take It Easy. Manny Wells. One of my love languages is music. On Spotify, I have a bunch of playlists that you guys enjoy, but I also, I'm not gatekeeping music. I would never. <laughs> but there are some playlists that I have not put out yet because the songs are just too good. I feel like the playlists that people download the most are the ones that I feature the most in my videos on TikTok. You're not meant to gatekeep music. We're not meant to gatekeep music, but sometimes I just need to live with a song for like a little bit and then I'll share it. Anyways, the pipeline from getting home from a day that went at snail speed, like the we I was running up and down the hospital all day, but why did it feel like I was running like this? But I was running, okay, right? And now I'm home, I heard that song by Celia Cruz, Energies 100, can't have too much, so I'll have to go to bed kind of soon because I have another day shift. Okay, um, and now I'm, I'm like hyper. When I hear music, I have to immediately think of like what the vibe it puts me in, and I make my playlist depending on the vibe. But it's a, it's, it's a different, it's a, it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a feeling, it's a feeling, okay. Let me read you some of my playlist name. One playlist is called Get Me Stuck. And this one is a bachata playlist. When I'm thinking of bachata, this is the thing that I, my friends and I talk about. We're dancing, right? We're dancing. And there's a certain part when you and your partner can do the step, but like on the spot and you don't have to like, you know, travel as you're dancing. And that little stuck that like you're like, 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 right? Ah, get me stuck. Cause like, whose son am I gonna get stuck with? Cause like, I just wanna get stuck there and then go do 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 and stuck. I'm stuck, okay? See, this is how I need to describe. I wish I had a voice memo for each Spotify. Like, before you listen to this place, this is the feeling of the place. Anyways, the next place, I called it grip, drop, and roll. Imagine you're dancing, ragada, ragada, right? Grip, like grip your pants, right? Drop, cause you can't like, Ooh, ooh, up here. Whatever you're doing up here, we're gonna, we're gonna drop, drop and roll, roll the hips. That. So imagine that playlist. That's where you're in. All the songs that makes you wanna ra, da ga da ga da, da ga da ga grip. You don't know, drop, you don't know, roll. Okay. This is how you explain our playlist, right? The other one is just called Good Vibes and Summarize. Just imagine like head out the window, and I like to put a photo um, to it right beside it. Um, what's another one? 
Bottoms Up and Booty Sweat is one of my playlists. Bottoms Up and Booty Sweat. Imagine you're at the club. What do you happen? Bottoms Up. And what else happens when a lot of bottoms up? Booty sweat, because they're dancing, right? Bottoms up and booty sweat. So <laughs> that's how I name my playlist. The specific vibe. Sometimes I'm like, Natasha, not all thoughts need to go on the internet. But that is how I pick the names for my playlist. And I also like to put a photo attached to it in conclusion. You want to listen to something new? <laughs> Spotify, link to below. Hello and happy Thursday. We need to leave. My friend's picking me up in an hour and a half because we're gonna go to Toronto because today's the bad bunny concert. I haven't packed and I also need to wax my armpits. The wax is currently warming. Honestly, it's currently cooling because I warmed it up real quick, but it's too hot for me to use. So I need to wax, shower, eat breakfast, it's 10 o'clock, and pack. And by pack, I mean my toiletries, my makeup, my outfits. I have, let's just, let's just go to my room. Over here, I have two outfits prepped. I also need to pack a pair of pajamas and also what I'm wearing for my little travel day. Matching set of PJs, travel day. Maybe I'll wear like a button down and some jeans. This might be too dressy for a travel day. But what if I meet the love of my life? <laughs> That's the question of the hour. What if I meet the love of my life? Okay, I also, so in Toronto, I, you know how I love to dance salsa. In Toronto on Thursdays, they do salsa at El Rancho. So I want to change, have a change of clothes for tonight because I know I'm not going to want to wear the same thing. Have I been blurry this whole time? None of the black tissues that I liked are clean. So I'm going to bring these two options for a long sleeve. Probably going to bring these jeans or I might just re-wear like one of these black pants. I also need to grab my suitcase. Stuff is mostly packed. I still need to refine what outfit I'm going to wear on the way. Clothes and makeup, mostly packed. I need to pack my like equipment stuff, cords, chargers, all that stuff. And I think I'm going to put all that in my backpack. I'm going to put all of that in here. I have this that I use for my cords and stuff. I have my digital camera in here. Maybe I'll bring that. Portable light is charged. My extra camera battery is currently charging. My extra LCD screen battery is currently charging. So I think I'm going to do chargers on like the last sweep. I have about 50 minutes to shower, change, and eat. Which is like a good amount of time. But I want to be done in like 30 just in case my friend gets here early. Um, there was another thing. I thought I was going to wear this on the way there. But I kind of want to be a little more comfy, but at the same time, all my sweatpants are dirty. That's a lot. I have some clean sweatpants in here, but none that I want to wear. Where you say that? All the cute sweatpants are dirty. Like, not my house sweatpants. Like, you know you have house sweatpants and then you have like, like my Aritzia, I would also use my as my house sweatpants, but I would also use those to go outside. It's the way I'm not even going to be gone for 48 hours. This I'm wearing tonight, so I have to wear it because it didn't fit in my suitcase. I have my lights here. Backpack suitcase is one beverage enough no i need two and my tripod because it couldn't fit and there's my keys okay everyone remember nita yeah this time we're not getting any flat tires i'll come look oh right i was <laughs> talking about like we're not hiking the mount everest oh. or yeah, anything today we're just hiking toronto we made it my back hurts from the the packing mule that i was for the past five six minutes bring myself up oh we get to the door tap the hotel room plate key thing turns red tap the next one red a thousand kilograms on my back cleaners next to us and i was like hey yo. <laughs> nita was like hey can you call downstairs um i think you have to go downstairs yeah but can you call <laughs> can you call and ask maybe they can send someone yeah but i think you have to go downstairs at the end, he opened it. Hallelujah. Bless you. He can probably hear me because he's still in the next room. Anyways, open the door for us. And now we have two faulty keys that we need to exchange. But alas, here we are in the room. My back hurts. It's three o'clock. Three o'clock. And we didn't pop any tires. So we almost smashed. It's not smashed the window. Almost a cracked rock. the window. We didn't do it. The rock did. The truck. Not Dwayne. Unfortunately. <laughs> but we came here in one piece and I think that's all that matters today. If you haven't seen our history of Travel. traveling. <laughs> <laughs> First time we drove to Toronto, Nita's tire in the highway. 
Middle of the highway. Thank goodness her dad. Why every time we go, your parents are coming? Just convenient. From, like, it really does work. The airport saved us, and today we saved them. So it was it was a. Uh, Do they remember not to go on the four hundred one? I don't. I was honestly just thinking about texting them. I brought enough outfits for. So I posted a thing on my Instagram. And I was like, guess how many days I'm staying here. Some people guess five days. Some people guess yeah, three days. Yeah, please show the world how big your suitcase is. I'm just here for not even what, like 36 not hours. Not even 24 hours. More than 24. No, because we're leaving in the morning. We got here in the afternoon. Please, okay, please but just no, wait, la just wait. Guys, last time we came to no. Toronto, I didn't like my outfits. I'm so sorry. The camera doesn't do it justice yet. Wait. Okay, this is how big medium, it is in relevance It's a medium size suitcase, y'all. Okay. And this is like 50 pounds. Like, easy. My parents' suitcases, they were gone for nine days, were lighter. Um, okay, potato, potato. My dad goes, my dad, oh my, this is heavy. <laughs> wait. Then, this is, this I had to I wear brought. the fur coat because I wasn't going to pack it. This is, wait. I had to bring the backpack. This is what I brought. You know what? I can be a light packer. I went to Europe for 21 days in a carry-on. I have range. <laughs> I have range. Okay, and Charlotte then I... just brings out a really special part of you. Then I brought this because... I need a good lighting because I never know what, how the hotel bathroom lighting is going to be. And we need to do a fire get ready with me, which, by the way, I need to edit today's TikTok video. Anyways, had to bring this and it came with a whole setup. So, yeah, I have quite a bit of stuff. Anyways, now that I'm reminded, I need to quickly edit these videos so I can post them. And then, it's only 3 o'clock. We have to figure out what we're going to eat for dinner. That's what's going on. Little quick room tour. It'll only take two seconds because you can see it in one swipe. But the door, the yellow. Why? Do you see how yellow it is in here? I'm so glad. Yes, my light broke, so I need to hold it like this. I am so glad I brought my lights because why am I? Okay, it looks a little better now. Maybe I'm being a little dramatic. I was being a little dramatic. Anyways, but it looks yellow. This is the. Anyways, here is I. Here I am. And this is the bathroom. And then we have a little closet. Apparently there's a fire happening and that's why this is happening. And it, oh, bed number one, bed number two, Nita being frustrated with the bank. And as always. the disaster that we have accumulated so far. Right now we're gonna head out to the mall to find Nita a top that she's gonna wear for tonight. And good thing I brought like 30 outfit options because I think I can't wear the outfit that I thought I was gonna wear tonight, tonight. So I can wear it next week. So I need behind, Anyways, I'm gonna wear a different outfit. And hopefully it looks good. And this is our view. We were supposed to be on the third floor and she said, oh, your room's not ready. Mind you, we are checking three o'clock. We're at the check-in desk 2.55. Your room's not ready. And so Nita's like, oh, so it's gonna be ready in the next five minutes. <laughs> and she goes, oh. And she goes, oh. Shit. <laughs> and she's You're like, right. what, oh. And she's like, well, we can put you on the 19th floor with a very nice view. And I'm like, okay, cool. So now we actually have a view of some... You are so close to my face, I didn't realize. Um, let me grab this to the side. Now we have a view of something, because before we were just going to have a view of the building next to us. It's really hard to record see anything. and not we be tilted. We city TV. Okay, there. We see... Why was I going to say the Eiffel Tower? The CN? No, it's not. We can't even see her. Is what the outside I think looks the Sienna's like. facing that way. Toronto, ladies and gentlemen, the city of dreams. Of dreams and opportunities. Oh, I am obsessed with Sienna. We're gonna eat oh the olives. Mia, yeah, do you wanna explain what we just uh, witnessed at the clothing store? Yeah, unfortunately, buns are a little tight. So we went to the garage for a little a little sexy shirt. And we're really there shouldn't be sexy clothing because it's for children. And there are only children at college. But I'm leaning and looking for a top to wear for tonight. And I, I'm looking for a small. It's like at the very back. So I'm really stretching in there because I'm not that tall. Anyways, imagine a hand. It's imagine so obvious that I'm looking for a size, and Tasha's standing like right next to me. Like, so there's not a lot of room in my bubble. 
And this child, maybe 15, 16 years old, is like reaching in. This is my face. This, this is, is the my arm. face. <laughs> this is the arm. Across my face is reaching for a, 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 an article of clothing. And there's no excuse me, there's no I'm sorry. It's just it's lunging. Just it's just lunging for the clothes. And then the worst part is she takes one out and then puts it back in and then takes another one out. It was like a very long interaction, but I'm really concerned about this generation's interaction with people. No, no manners. No, when I tell you there's maybe this much space between Nita and I, why is there an arm? Why, why is there an arm reaching continuously? Multiple times anyways. I was trying not to laugh out loud. At the end I did because it was ridiculous. I was like, this is not really happening. No, oh, can I just, no. More like, can I triple axel no through you? It was just like, your arm and my face are now one. <laughs> We're currently taking the subway. Nita's not the biggest fan of the subway, but I love the subway. Well, if you ever read the news on Toronto subways and it's you see okay. someone get stabbed, that's We're not gonna different. Get, We're not gonna get so stabbed. Just a little wound. Guess where I am. Brand uh, coffee, ice cream vibes. You know, last week's vlog when I was like, I need ice cream. This was what I was talking about. This is cheesecake? Yeah. Ooh. They yeah. just have like, the base of this ice cream is really good. It's creamy. Yeah. I don't know if I like the banana, but we're going to Bad Bunny! I have about like 40 minutes to get ready, maybe less. ¿Qué pasó ahí? ¿Tú me extrañas? Mami, tú y yo estamos viviendo el mismo sueño Y quiero verte Mi gana de controlar cada vez que te pienso Y quiero verte Baby, dime que lo que pasa pensando Que te loca por besarte en la boca 3.13 a.m. Not only did we go to the concert My makeup, the only reason it looks like this is because I've been sweating for the past two hours Don't look too close, it's scary Because after the concert we went That is bad, Anthony! Because we have to, we went in Toronto We got Popeye's chicken sandwich For dinner, it's 3 a.m. In the Uber Eats app, there was no part where I could put Please put ketchup Here, Here's the thing I think that fast food employees have a personal vendetta against their customers and ketchup and that the ketchup packs get subtracted from their paycheck every time they give one out. Because why did I, this is my second Popeye chicken sandwich of the day, why did I ha ask, have a Popeye chicken sandwich for lunch and I said, hey, can I get ketchup? Two bags. Two, not one, two. Why am I supposed to do two bags? So there was no place in the Uber app to add more ketchup so I called the Popeyes and I'm like babe put so much ketchup in here so this is a moment of truth did Popeyes listen to me <laughs> oh my goodness I doubt it the first second because in this bag there was no ketchup but y'all Now I'm actually gonna go eat that, and it's like I said, it's 3 a.m. and our bus leaves tomorrow at um. <laughs> that is the end of the Thursday portion, and it's Friday morning, anyways. See you. Bye. I have made it back home. <laughs> I woke up this morning, did not want to leave Toronto, but we had to leave Toronto, and I'm back home. Anyways. Came home. One, I am ravenous. <laughs> There's no private chef waiting for me at home. That's so weird. I thought there would be one, but nope. Maybe next year. Anyways, we got a package, and I'm gonna open it. I have my mom FaceTime over here, and then you guys are over here, so <laughs> it's a little collab thing going on. I don't know what it is because here's the thing: brands will ask me for my address, and they're like, "Okay, cool. Oh wait, never mind. You live in Canada." Oh. <laughs> What? Don't forget about us Canadians. So when I got this email, I thought they were one of the brands that said, sorry, sucks to suck, you live in Canada, you're not getting PR. Um, but it turns out that it's 
they they didn't do that they sent it anyways this way I don't know what it is I really hope these are lip oils because I see these lip oils the Jisoo lip oils all over the place and I'm like okay what about me what about me oh they're lip oils <laughs> I guess I did see someone open something similar and I was like me next this is the Jisoo Lippies Honey Infused Tinted Lip Oils. I have never tried their lip oils, but I heard that there's a pretty big hype around it. So we'll see what's tea because I'm a lip connoisseur. So, oh, there's three. There's Strawberry Sorbet, Mango Passion Punch, Watermelon Sugar Hi, Watermelon Sugar Hi. Okay, representation, period. So I... Don't think I've ever tried a lip oil. No, that's a lie. I tried the NYX one. Then I lost it like a week later. So I don't really remember what it's like. It smells good. Oh, I have stuff on my lips. I also did have stuff on my lips. So maybe I'm not the best to review this right now. It doesn't feel like an oil. It feels like kind of a gloss. But I don't know if it feels like a gloss because I had kind of a gloss on. Or it feels like a gloss because it is a gloss. Okay, let me show you the other two. The scent is not that strong that you're like, girl. You know, sometimes I, they add these crazy scents to things and I'm like, you could have done without it. This is what it looks like. If I'm like this, you're like, why are you spent <laughs> like bent in half? My viewfinder is like vertical. <laughs> I can't move it. I have to find another way to make it horizontal. So that's why I'm like this. Let me stand straight though. Thank you, Jesus. Merci. Are you like, what's it? Literally. <laughs> yeah, girl. Not very environment <laughs> conscious of them. Anyways, um, yo compré un lip gloss una vez y era um, olor a coco, pero es, hay un olor a coco artificial que cuando lo veo casi que me entra un vomito. Hello, good morning and happy Saturday. I went out last night, last minute. Is this crooked? A little bit with my roommates um with my roommate i only have one so basically we were home we were chilling we had to order some food we were playing pool because we have a pool table in our apartment complex and then one of my roommate's friend is visiting and she's like yo let's go to the bar mind you it was 11 30 i said uh let's go still wearing the clothes from yesterday currently washing my sheets if you can see the state of my room it's an absolute shambles. I feel like from this angle you can't see it very well. I have clothes all over the floor, boxes, clothes, my suitcase from Toronto. The amount of laundry I need to do, I just put my first load in because I'm washing my sheets. My sheets take the longest because this takes like, I don't know how many cycles to drive. I have makeup on my pillows. Um, I just need to clean my room. It's Saturday, I need to put some cleaning music on. My bathroom, crazy. Let me give you a little one too so you can see how crazy it is so you can appreciate when it's clean the beauty of something that's dirty is that you can clean it okay here literally stuff all over the floor boxes packages so crazy my bathroom i got ready in a hurry in a jiffy everything's dirty but guess what it's gonna be clean soon <laughs> Another load of laundry to do. It's Sunday. It's like 11.30. Currently getting ready to go eat some breakfast, lunch, brunch. It's also kind of warm outside. It's 11 degrees. The high today is 15. So I'm like, do I wear a skirt? I don't know. I'm not a skirt girl. But I have this little tennis skirt. Is it going to be too cold for that? Or maybe I can do this long one because of the temperature. Or I can do these pants. These kind of, what are these called? Towel pants. Terry cloth. This is not gonna look like it at all, but it's inspired. There's a Scaparelli dress. It's like black and it's like white at the bottom. This is not gonna give Scaparelli dress, but it could give Scaparelli adjacent. Scaparelli cousin, the Walmart version. We're gonna try these two on, see how it goes. I also need a shower. Only 11 degrees, Natasha. I think I need more clothes. I found a couple of options on Pinterest. Okay, there's this one, button down white skirt. Maybe that worked better because if my legs are cold, it's fine because my arms are, what is this? Like my arms are covered. This is cute too, but that's like a midi length. We'll shower, we'll put things on. I still need to like wake up. Okay, 
I walked out to the balcony and it's a little chilly because I had a tank top and a skirt. So I was like, let me just put a long sleeve and a skirt. Hopefully it's not that cold. Hair and a half up, half down. I'm going to do my um, glowy makeup, but for an oily girl because I need to take my oily girl precautions. Loge Pose normal to oily cleanser. When I do my makeup, I use, like to use the matte moisturizer. At night, I use a different moisturizer. And then I do the shine control from Makeup Forever. Trying to look glowy, we can't do too much because then I'm gonna be shining bright like a zoiman. This is just like a casual one, two step routine. 10 products. Okay, we'll count them. First product, the primer. My little LCD screen that I can usually see if it's recording has no battery. So now I'm just, I just press record on the camera and hopefully it's recording. I like to set my primer. Okay, that's two products. The Anastasia Brow Freeze, this will not move. At first, I was using the Benefit one. I was like, wow, this doesn't move. This doesn't move. They're both good, but I think it'll be there. I don't know. I, I think I like this one better. So this is product number one, two, three. Nothing too much because it's supposed to be cash. I would call my no makeup makeup. Like, of course, it doesn't look, it doesn't look like I'm not wearing anything. Wait, it doesn't not, I am wearing, whatever. <laughs> it's <laughs> my in-between between wearing nothing and doing the full face that I've learned how to do on myself. Amy Coley, this skin tint I've been loving all oh, my days. You know when you have a product in your, I don't know, you have a product in your collection for so long and then you just never use it and then you start using it and you're like, why have I not been obsessed with this since day one? Literally, it's like the perfect cover. Ugh, it's just so good. I put quite a bit. Probably should have put less. Perfect amount of coverage is light. Gets the job done. It's just a sleigh. Like it's not giving you full face. It like evens my skin tone. That's what it does. It doesn't hide like all my hyperpigmentation because I have a lot around my chin area, but it does even it, make it one unison tone, which makes it look like I have nothing on. Cause like my, look at, look at her. Four with the brow, five. My neutral shade of concealer, cause I have two. This is a Huda Beauty. I actually do cream bronzer before Juvia's face obsessed. This is mandatory. This gives me the look of the sun has kissed me. Do you see? It's just gorgeous. And just a tad. It doesn't have to be full on bronze. Just a little bit. Okay, this is five. Another Ami Coley product that I really like, the Desert Date Multi Stick. I don't know, it's like neutral and deep enough for like an everyday. It's plum. Okay. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then since I'm using this again, it doesn't count as another product because it's the same product. It might be 11 because I do want to bake a little bit with this powder. Okay, this is nine. 10 is mascara and 11 is setting spray. 12 is my chapstick if we're going to keep it conservative. 14 lip liner. Did I do that math correctly? My ride just texted me saying, oh, on my way. Oh. Gotta hurry up. The only problem with this routine scene is that I do love the difference in dimension when I do a light concealer and all that stuff. So I feel like this is like cash. I think I'm gonna do these shoes from Dolce. I need a jacket though. Perfect, this is missing something. I feel like my face is missing something. Maybe this jacket? Part of me feels like this is too dressy. Like I need pants or something to make it more cash. I'm overthinking it. Let me figure this out.